Hello, my name is Apple. Today, I wanted to share with you the common eleven signs of self-doubt. Some of the common symptoms that we ignored, we have not been able to find an effective solution to address the self-doubt. Let's look at what are these. Number one, I am totally stressed out. How do you know? Your chest. When you examine your chest, maybe feel tight, feel heavy. Your breathing become fast, and your hands may be sweaty. Number two, I can't do this anymore. I really can't do this. I have to do this, but I can't do this. Number three, I wake up at night all the times. In particular, when you have a deadline, when you have to submit, when you have to turn up for a very important meeting the night before, you can't sleep. Number four, you're thinking in your head, telling yourself, "I'm going to look so stupid." Number five, you know that you really need to do this, but you have not to find a drive, a a model inside your body to be able to deliver. To do what you wanted to do. Number six, I'm frustrated. I'm so frustrated with myself. I've done this so many times, yet I'm not so good at this. For example, public speaking. Number seven, a lot of people feel like I'm going to make myself look like a fool. Who said that you're going to make yourself a fool? But it's all playing inside the head. Number eight. I need to prove to myself. For some reason, I just need to show me that I can do this. Number nine, I'm pissing myself out. I know this is so important, and I've been telling myself many, many times. I even prepared so well, but when it comes to public speaking, when it comes to doing a presentation, I just couldn't do it. I'm really pissing myself out, but I don't have a solution. Number ten, I'm really busy. I'm so busy, but I don't get to see the result. Why? Maybe we have not been able to ask for the results that we wanted to see, or we have not got the correct system in place to assist the result to manifest itself. Number eleven, one most important sign is a lot of my clients do feel that I don't feel like I deserve this. I really don't feel or don't think that I can ask for this. They don't feel that they have the right to be asking for what they actually wanted. Part of them really want this to happen, and then another part of them is telling this negative voice, "Say, I don't think I deserve this. I don't think that I can ask for this." Looking for these signs. If you are exhibiting any of these signs, I really urge you to look for some help. Speak to your friends, speak it up, and check out some of those stress release videos. And spend some time for yourself in nature. Maybe really ask yourself within: Why do I not feel I deserve this? Why I can't ask for this? I know that I can if I. Continues to work on this, or I have been working so hard for what I wanted to manifest for my work, for my relationship, for my business. Perhaps it's time to really embrace, allow that abundance to really flow in, sending love and the light from the hills. I'm sure you will find your own way to your deserved abundance. Thank you for watching.